everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. I am uh, back into making videos because I've been out of a writing tablet since last spring and I just got one so I'm very happy about that. It's a new Wacom something. I didn't look at the model number. I was just happy to get it. I guess I can find the box again and see what it is. But my skill in writing on this thing, I've done one practice uh, trying to write with it and it's not so good. I need to get that skill back. I never had good skills anyway with writing tablets. Um, so my wife sent this to me from Twitter. Uh, she follows uh, several people on Twitter now, and uh, I haven't really got into it. Um, but there's really cool things out there. And she does World of Engineering and a couple other science ones. And this was sent out there for people to play around with. They do lots of these. But I've seen problems like this. So when she sent this to me, she thought she was going to stump me. But I've actually given this to students before. Not exactly this one, but things similar to it. Uh, so what it is, is really, it's not a geometry problem. It's more of an Algebra 1 problem. And uh, let's see if I could get this writing tablet to work. There we go. It's more of an Algebra 1. Um, the geometry is just simply, well, we're given a square. And, you know, students learn how to find a square pretty early on in elementary school. Um, it's just side times side. And, uh, but what's tricky here is that we're just given the length of this is equal. And all these shaded areas are of equal area. Um, so we have to figure out some strategies on how to do this. And, you know, if we just call this x, because that's what we tend to do when we don't know something, we just call that x. We know that this whole length is x plus 3, so the area of the square is just x plus 3 squared, which is just uh, x squared plus 6x plus 9. That's not going to really get us anywhere. So we probably need to come up with a different strategy. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we're given that all these areas are equal, so I'm going to put capital A's on all these. And I definitely do not have good writing skills with this pad. Uh, there's ways to mess with the settings on sensitivity and stuff like that. So all these areas are equal. When we don't know some in algebra, we tend to call it x. All right, so I'm going to call this length x. And I guess I could call this length y, and I could call this length z. But because I've had a little bit of previous experience, I know that I'm not really going to use this z part. I can. I can write a very convoluted system of equations uh, where I have x plus 3 times y plus z is equal to the area of the square. And then I do 3 y is equal to this. Uh, x plus 3 times, um, well, y plus whatever I want to do. There's, all di there's different ways to write systems of equations on this. But this is a systems problem. So when you get to Algebra 1 and you're doing system of equations, this is a good one to throw at your students if you're a teacher watching this. All right. So what we're going to do is we know the orange area is 3A. All right. So we know A, all A's, because all the A's are equal, is equal to 3Y. Okay. Well, that's one of the, our equations. If we have two unknowns, uh, we need two equations. If we have three unknowns, we need three equations and so on. All right. Well, we have x plus 3 times y is equal to this big one right here. This, the orange, the yellow, the green, and the pink. So let's go ahead and write that. We're going to do, um, well, we're going to do 4a, because it's 1, 2, 3, 4a's, is equal to x plus 3 times y. Well, what we have here is we have 4a is equal to this, a is equal to that. So if a is equal to 3y, we could take this 3y and put it in right here. This is solving by substitution. So we're going to have 4 times 3y is equal to x plus 3 times y. I don't want to distribute that y. That just makes things harder. So what I'm going to do is divide by y on both sides. So when I divide by y on both sides, that eliminates the y. So I'm going to have 12 is equal to x plus 3. Subtract a 3, so I'm going to have 9 is equal to x. And therefore, a side length is 12. This is 12. And the area of the square, area of the square is equal to side squared. So it's going to be area is equal to 144 units squared. All right? So that's it for this problem. These are fun. I highly encourage uh, this is an algebra one type problem. So 
I'd highly encourage uh, giving this as a good exercise. And if you're out of school, which the vast majority of my students are now past high school, you want to keep your math brain activated because it's a perishable skill. When I got out of the Air Force, and I've told them to my students before, I have gone many years uh, where I had a you know math degree in college, uh, taking you know some really challenging classes, DFEQ, whatever, and I forgot most of it. So it comes back pretty quick once you dive into it, but avoid that and just engage yourself in some math now and then, and. Uh, it just benefits your life overall. Alrighty, I have a couple more that I'm going to post here uh, this week, and I look forward to uh, getting back with y'all.